Hi all, welcome to Raw Online. Now coming into the most important part, which anesthesiologists play a major role. This is the right lung and this is the left lung and you are in supine position. So there is no dependent and non-dependent, both are at the equal level. Now right lung being slightly bigger will receive little bit more amount of pulmonary perfusion. The red arrow mark are pulmonary perfusion. So most of the time the right and left lung will receive equal perfusion. This black mark are the ventilation. The patient is supine. Again, the right and left lung will receive equal amount of ventilation. So there is no mismatch. There is equal perfusion, equal ventilation. The perfusion might be slightly larger than the right lung because the right lung is slightly bigger. So if you look at the summary of the Ventilation, perfusion and supine position not much shunt in both the lung. Each lung contributes, both lung contributes to equal amount of shunt and which is insignificant. In supine position, you do not have a much problem. This is supine position closed chest. Now coming to lateral position. This is non-dependent left lung and this is dependent right lung. Okay, Being dependent due to gravity, the right lung will receive more perfusion. This is shown by little broader right arrow mark. Here you can see the arrow mark being slight broader. The left lung being non-dependent due to gravity, the perfusion is going to be little less, which is shown by slightly narrow red arrow mark. Okay, This is going to receive more perfusion and the left lung is going to receive less perfusion. Let us see what happens with ventilation. Now, the non-dependent lung, because hair is lighter, will receive more ventilation. You can see a bigger circle with ventilation. That means the non-dependent lung will receive more ventilation and the dependent right lung will receive less ventilation. The bottom line is the dependent lung receives more perfusion and the non-dependent lung receives more ventilation. So, there is going to be a gross mismatch. Here, right lateral closed chest, the right lung receiving more perfusion and less ventilation contributes to about 4% of the shunt because it is receiving more blood flow and less ventilation. This concept you have to understand. This is lateral position coast chest. Now coming to lateral position open chest. Here the non-dependent lung ventilation is totally cut off. But it still receives some amount of blood flow. About 75% of perfusion will go to the dependent right lung. What happens to ventilation? The ventilation is totally cut off. You cut off the ventilation an entire ventilation goes to the dependent right lung. Okay. So, what is going to happen on the physiological aspect? The left lung has only blood flow and no ventilation at all. So, it is going to be contributing about 25% of the shunt. The right lung receives around 70% of the blood flow. Now, the challenge is to counter this shunt and you have to know whether the right lung can tolerate increased pulmonary blood flow. This is going to be your challenge. This is the most toughest part and you have to have a good understanding of physiology of one lung ventilation before anesthetizing for thoracic surgery. 